this in here, yada yada, yay, this is cool, we've got them nice and pretty. Okay, let's just reset this. I'm gonna go back to my history here. At the bottom of history, you see there's original, also from history, if we haven't seen this before, I can go up here in the, and, oops, here we go. I can go up here to history, click on the three dots, and it says revert to original, and that'll bring us back to the original. Okay, so we've got that set up. Now let's say I go in and I do my own adjustments. Let's just do something really quick in here. Let's just warm up the image a little bit. Let's uh, add a little contrast into this. I'm going to uh, take my highlights down, make sure we don't lose anything there. Let's uh, we'll do something really obvious. Let's do a vignette on this and uh, a little color. Yeah, I don't do that. What do I want to do? Color, saturation. Let's take the saturation. Let's take it up a little bit. Let's really make that hair pop. Cool. Okay. So there's the image, right? So I've done this. Yay. I'm proud of my filter. I think it's beautiful. A little too, sorry. There we go. I like this. I want to save this as a preset. A couple ways you can do it. If you go to the preset window, you'll see down here at the bottom, it says create filter. I think you can do it from these little three dots here as well. Yep. Create filter. And you can also go to the export menu up here in the top right corner, click on that, and you can save edits. There we go. Save edits. And that'll create a filter as well. So a couple different ways to do this. The UI is just slightly different on iOS, but all the same functionality. But I'm going to go ahead and do it here. Create filter. So I hit create filter. And now this is brilliant. What edits am I saving in this filter? The main adjustments, obviously I want those. Local adjustments. Well, I probably don't want that because here, let's, let me back out of this. Let me not save that. Let's just say that I did a local adjustment. Uh, let's go to here and I take a gradient and I'm going to do a big exposure roll off from this side to this side. Okay, let's just do that and take the exposure way down. So let's just say that this is what I wanted, right? So that's how I wanted to do this image. But now saving that as a preset with that gradient, is not going to work for every image, right? That's something I created for this image, but it's not going to work for every other image. Now, there might be cases where that does work. If you're, let's say you're, you're doing a sunset and you shoot a lot of sunsets and your horizon line is you know usually around the middle mark or third or whatever. Uh, I don't know where it is, but you're shooting sunsets and you create a filter preset that has some awesome gradation things happening in the sky and you want to build that as your preset. Well, then go ahead and save it save the gradients as part of the preset, you can always move them. You can always move them around. But my point is that there are times where you do want these custom gradients, whether radial or linear gradients to be part of your presets, and times when you do not. So just be aware of this, right? So we're here. I've got this gradient on there. Now let's go ahead and create the filter. And now I'm going to say, right, I do not want the local adjustments. That local is the brushes, the radial gradients, and so on. I don't want that. I don't have any text in here, so it doesn't matter if I choose text or not, but if I did, I could choose to have that enabled and saved. And the crop, I haven't cropped this, but if I had, I could have that part of it as well. But in this case, I'm just going to do the main adjustments. We're going to call this, uh, I don't know, we're going to call this LT1201, it's very original, um, one. There we go, version one, perfect. And now let's just hit save. We'll come back to save and share. I hit save, and you see it's got a nice little name up here. There it is, I'm in my custom presets. There it is, LT1201 version one, so there's my custom. And now if I was to do a revert, um, so remember now we've got this linear gradient that we did on here, right? I'm going to go ahead and revert this image all the way back to the original, go back into my presets and apply my preset. And now I've got everything that I did, but not that gradient because I told it specifically not to save that. Of course, if I had told it to save that gradient, then that would have been applied right there. All right, so that's cool. I got that in there. All right, so there's how we make our own presets. Nice and easy, right? But there's this sharing thing that is really cool. Oh, sharing? What is this all about? All right, let's go back to this again. So let's, uh, let me do another one. Let's create something different here. We'll go, uh, let's go back into our adjustments and do some, let's do a kind of a black and whitey type of a thing. Let's go toning and let's take our, um, actually, where's the black and white? Hold on, it's not there. Let's go for light color um, details, no vignette. Where's the black and white? Curve, toning, distort effects. Okay, well, I know I'm being an idiot. Maybe it's just, you just have to desaturate. Huh. I may have to dig into that. May that. I'm not sure if that's the only way to go black and white. Anyway, doesn't matter. We're going to save this up. Let's add a little bit of grain into this. Let's go some crunchy, crunchy. I will say that I am not... Where's the grain? It's under effects. Here we go. Effects. I'm not a fan of their grain pattern. I think their grain pattern needs work. Um, not my favorite grain pattern that I've seen, but we're just going to pretend that it is, and we're going to save a nice big one here. Okay. So I want to save this now. So I'm going to once again go create filter. Uh, we'll turn off the text and local adjustments. Again, it doesn't really matter here, but we're going to do it. And then I'm going to click on save and share. You've just watched a five-minute sample of a live training video. 
To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live where you can purchase and download it or sign up as a member. Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash member. <laughs>